What's going on, fantasy entertainer, motivator, educator, Lucky Murray, back with another game caught news update. Today, we're speaking real quick about South Carolina getting a beast in offensive lineman. When I say a beast, he's a big boy. <laughs> he's a big boy. When I saw this a couple days ago, I said, ooh, okay, South Carolina. Okay, this is serious, serious. Uh, we're going to talk about Isaiah uh, Jeter. 6'6", 310, Juco, offensive lineman, uh, committed to the 2023 class. But before I go any further, man, here's what I need you to do. Join the Patreon, man. Yeah, that's the best way to support the channel. Um, you get exclusive content. I'm getting that thing situated right now. Um, <laughs> um, so more content will come from that. I've been working on a documentary. So um, a podcast had to wait for a few days, but I'm going to get it right. So go to uh, patreon.com forward slash Lucky Murray. The link will be in the description below to buy the merch. New merch coming this fall. You don't want to miss it. If you can't do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. That let you know every time I drop a video, three share the video helps out a ton. Let's get into this. Man, but Isaiah Jeter, class of 2023, junior college offensive lineman. I didn't think that junior college people even still transferred. <laughs> you know, you 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 heard of the transfer portal. Uh, but he committed a, a couple of days ago. He had commitments over Kansas, Fresno State, Kent State, and Utah, among others. He joins a recruiting class that includes one other offensive lineman commit, three-star interior lineman um, Trevion Pugh out of Atlanta, Hot Atlanta. He will have four years to play three seasons for the Gamecocks, the Big Spur reports. That the Gamecocks are recruiting him to play left tackle, but he worked a few different positions during camp. All right. You know, checking this film, and this is uh, this is what Saturday down south that I'm reporting from. They list at six six. Listen, three ten. Uh, he's from Snow College. Um, he goes to Snow College JUCO out there. He made an immediate pack with a two deep that is loaded with veteran talent and had played one, only one season for JUCO. He has plenty of time to be stable piece of the puzzle for the next several years. You know, this film showing that he plays both guard and tackle. What does this mean, man? You, you, you can't teach size, and you can't teach that 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 you can't teach size. That's one thing. Um, what I would see from him, he probably they probably want him to cut him down just a little bit, um, add more muscle to his frame, because uh, he's a big boy. Um, get him a little bit more mobile. From what I'm seeing right now, I mean, he hits hard, but at the same time. I don't see that ferociousness um, that I would see from other offensive linemen. And this is first look, guys. I'm not saying that the, 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 the young man is bad, but what I'm saying is that for six six, like yeah, you're pancake at six six, right? You're gonna pancake these JUCO JUCO guys, but like like this play right here, he should he should have he should have destroyed my man right there, right? He had help on the double team, not really. It wasn't the double team, but uh, he had help. So on this play right here, you know, I'm just looking at it right quick. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to gauge my eyes on it. You see the I mean. So I like the way he finished down the bottom, but once he gets down, he stays down. He don't get up and go to the next level. Like 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 this play right here. He's not like moving a guy. Like you know what I'm saying? He's not a force in his will on the guy. So I think that with him coming to uh South Carolina, that's a good block right there, a good pancake block. Uh said yeah, you squash him like that. Coming to South Carolina, I think I think with the SEC weight room, I think with the SEC uh nutrition program, I think with all those different things like that, uh that six six guard can really do some things and really transform well. You know, he has four to play three, which that means that uh his first year I, I think that you want to red shirt him. Office alignments you, you typically want to red shirt uh their first year, even if they're JUCO, because the reason why is that you want them to gain some muscle, man. You want him to be able to not only block, but you know, put people on their butt. You know what I'm saying? Um, make it known. But I like the size of that, and I do like that block right there. But like I said, he should he should have put that dude on his butt. You see how big he is over that guy? He should have put my man on the butt. I'm talking about. Listen, I want pancakes with syrup, right? Pancakes with syrup. But here's what I need you to do, people. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below, man. Do you think this is a good pickup? I do. I think you can't teach size. 6'6", 310. You know what I'm saying? Big boy. Um, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. But once again, it's the entertainer, motivator, educator. And please, don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back with another Game Cut News update. Today, we're speaking about Isaiah, who is just committed. A three-star office alignment. Um, looks like he has great potential, though. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. But like always, it's the next time, people.